right, so I've got to go shut some water off. Actually, not shut it off. I got to switch it. So we've got water running from our older block, and we need to switch it to our younger block. But then we're gonna go do something pretty cool. So you know how I did a video a while back about shaking, and I showed you uh, the mono boom shaker, and that's the shaker that we used on our trees this year. But I wanted to show you guys some video of the side shot shaker. And my buddy Juan Becerra, uh, he has both kinds of shakers. And so he messaged me today, said he's close to me in our area. And so I thought I'd go and talk to him a little bit about the side shot and we can get some good footage uh, of it doing its thing. So that's what we'll do. So we're pulling up to the pump station so we can do a little bit of switcheroo with the water. Oh man, I hate these thistles. You get these thistles so bad out here. Anyway, go switch them out. Now we're good to go. Today is this little girl's first birthday. She is one today. Isn't that crazy? Hi! You say hi to everybody. Say hi. Hi. Oh, hello. What are we gonna do for your birthday? We're gonna go to Huckleberries and eat. Yeah. And we got a cake for you to smash. <laughs> yeah. What's going on, everybody? We're out here with Juan Becerra. Juan, how you doing? Not bad about you. Doing good. So uh, we're out here. He's got his shakers going in our neighbor's orchard. And uh, I wanted to show you guys the, the the side shot. We did the mono boom out at our place, and you've got both going out here. Right yeah, now. we got both. Yeah, for sure. Well, let's go check out the side shot shaker. So you can see on that on that side shot, I keep wanting to say mono boom, on that side shot, how it just shoots out and grabs a tree. So it's made specifically for almonds, for almonds. And so this is the shaker that we used, you know, in our uh, in our orchard, and this is the mono boom shaker. This one's a lot quieter because it has a new tier four diesel engine in it. And so it's a lot quieter than the older ones. So Juan, I see that the the claw goes out and grabs it. Does that damage the tree at all? Only if there's a lot of moisture in the tree. Yeah, you don't want a lot of moisture in the tree. What about like the root system at all on it? It's fine, it'll be fine. No, there's uh, silicones in the pads and water that pulls down the pads so it doesn't damage that. Oh, okay. What's the advantage to this shaker compared to the mono boom shaker? Uh, this one's a little bit faster. It all depends on the operator. You take it <laughs> all out. These, all the nuts fall on this thing. Yeah. All right. Got some music going on here. Ryan. What's that? You can drive. You I've, shake I've never driven before. You can. And then right here, just watch. You can try to shake it. Just grab. It. I'll show you how to shake it real quick. Yeah. And this one, you close. You close okay. it. It's automatic. So you got to hold it down. When you're gonna shake, be committed. Hold it down. Let go and it opens, comes back on its own. Oh, okay. So you hold it down to shake? Just hold it, this one, to clamp close. Shake. And shake for like how long? Five or six seconds. Just hold the throttle down when you shake this up. So this throttle this yeah. right here? Yeah. All the way down? All the way down. I'd go all the way down. You're not going to hurt that just... Okay. Driving a shaker, guys.
get into the, the throttle. <laughs> it's gotta be a throttle when I do it. driven those before yeah the first one I was like something didn't feel right but like, oh, I didn't give it any throttle still came up though oh, you the got the bristle the sweeps on there so do those go as it moves yeah yeah so they spin as they move so that way you don't have any okay yeah that way you're not running over yeah. all right. he's gonna hit that tree again <laughs> yeah, yeah so that's a good idea so what happened is I was driving it I didn't the first tree that I did I didn't give it any throttle I was so concentrated on making sure okay shake it for good amount of time I didn't give any throttle so I made sure on the second one that I gave it some throttle but so he's gonna go back and, and hit it making sure it gets it's a good shake did I bark the tree so that's uh with uh, these trees you hear people talk about barking the tree what is that exactly when it's too green there's too much moisture they grab it wrong or there's just too much moisture in the tree it barks them. Okay. Takes the skin what happens them. if you? So what happens if that happens? Uh, they die earlier, but if you treat them and spray a uh, tree sealer on them, they, they should work. Okay. Be right. Just the, but you don't want. You still don't want to do that. Yeah, for sure. You don't want to talk to them like that. How do you know when they're ready to shake? Like, how do you know when a tree's ready you to shake? You grab the trunk. You kind of bring a shaker out, test it, see, and then you kind of see right away the first tree. How it looks. How you can grab it with your hands and see how. Like you grab it right now, right after the shake, it's so dry. There's no moisture. Oh yeah, for sure. So but you can tell right away. How does that shaker head work? I see it's got like a like an off-centered weight or something. It's got weights, so there's different weights. There's uh, almond weights, so that's that one. Then there's uh, walnut weights, it's a heavier weights. So is it it's a hydraulic motor? Yeah, it's a hydraulic motor. It makes a weight spin. Okay, so are the weights off centered? Is that yeah. what causes? Yeah. It offset. Then you put a, a heavier wand weight on it. You can see the you go up close enough. You can see that. that yeah, we'll spin. see if we can get a good shot of that. Uh, do they? I've heard people say like, oh man, the shakers are brutal machines. They shake themselves apart. Oh yeah, they put a lot of money on them every year. So. Yeah. A lot of welding on them. <laughs> <laughs> They're shaking all day long, you know, so they shake apart. Yeah. Let's get a shot of the weights. What did you call them? Energy, Energy wheel. Oh, that sounds that sounds intense. That's what we call it.
right, guys. Well, thanks for joining along with us and uh, seeing the mono, the mono boom and the side shot shaker. That was pretty cool. Thanks for letting me drive it. That was awesome. No problem, man. Yeah. yeah. So, Juan, where can you be reached at? Social media and wherever. Uh, just look for my name on Instagram. It's Juan Night Stand, and then I got a farm service page with Sarah Farm Services. So, if you guys want to follow me, Ron will probably put up the. Yeah, name I'll on put there I'll put the name on there so you guys can go and follow him. Uh, he's got some great stuff on, on Instagram that I like following him and seeing all the, the the cool stuff that he does. So I'm sure this won't be the last we see of Juan. We'll, no, probably, we'll probably come out in the shredder next. Probably do the shredder <laughs> next, that's for sure. So thanks for coming out, guys. Thanks, Juan. Right, no problem.